Hello YouTube, this is Asatsu5, and this is part 2 of Be Lightning. I've, I've uh, uploaded a video a year or so, or however many years ago, that was in a dark world, you can be lightning. And I talked about this uh, piece of poetry that I wrote. Poetry, prayer, um, one line, or what do you call it? Could be all these things. But um, anyways, I was going through a tough time, and I decided to get my words on paper. Paper, because I'm dysgraphic. Anywho, uh, I uh, um, wrote down my thoughts on my phone, and I tweaked them until they flowed and made a, uh, a verbal picture. And um, so um, I was going through a hard time. This was one of the things that I wrote. Sometimes friends, family can't pull you out of the darkness. One must live for the shimmers of light from the coming storm. Remember how, no matter how dark the storm is, there will be light. Um, so, um, what does that mean? Well, in a storm, it's generally very dark, it's very windy, there's rain, there could be hail, there could be tornadoes, what have you. But the big source of light you have in a storm especially at night, is lightning. So when there's lightning, even though it's for a, a, sec a split second in, um, in time, you can see your, you can see what's around you, you can see um, what's in front of you, what's behind you. With lightning, you, it's a momentarily illuminating your dark world. And that's what I mean by be lightning. You can be lightning to someone who's having a dark time. So how can you do this? Well, um, there was a time that I was very um, disturbed, um, sad, whatever you want to call it. I went to church. I didn't go to the um, um, actual service. I went to the Bible study, and the youth pastor or young uh, adult pastor guy wasn't there, and it was the preacher's son, and he, he came in, and um, uh, he... Um, uh, asked me how I was doing, and I, I just couldn't hide it. I could not pretend to be happy. And I was like, I'm doing terrible. And um, they ended up praying for me. And uh, a prayer with along with a funny story that, um, uh, you know, I, I found humorous for a very real reason um, uh, made me feel better. You know, um, I just, um, you know, it was, it was really weird because it was right after and, you know, I, I went up there and they prayed for me. They told the story. And I was able to look at the um, sick humor of this story. And um, it, it wasn't funny for uh, the person that it happened to. But <laughs> for whatever reason, uh, it just put things in perspective for me. And um, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was given light. You know, that was nothing that... Um, um, you know, my family could have done, my friends could have done, this um, preacher's son is not someone who I talk to on a regular basis. We're not close. Um, you know, I don't really hang out with them outside of church or whatever. But um, he prayed for me, he told a story, and I was on top of the world. Uh, another example. Um, um, <laughs> it's hard because I don't want to like um, talk about... Uh, certain things but um um uh, you know it could be as it, it could be it could seriously be as simple as a dog or a cat doing a funny thing or it could be as complex as asking someone how their day is and then be, when they say um not good be like well how, why is it not good uh, can i help you uh there was a, a certain situation where um uh, by the way um uh, this is one of my most cherished uh birthday cards. Today's my birthday, by, by the way. Not bragging. Um, I, I just happened to live another year. Um, but um, went on this date with this uh, insanely attractive girl, and she gave me a birthday card with a handwritten note. And I was just on top of the world. Um, it didn't turn, It didn't um, end up how I wanted it to end up at, you know, friend zone and everything. But, um, you know, I, I it was at that moment where I already cared about it, but it was at that moment I was like, oh man, this is really cool. And um, this was me trying to be lightning. And she posted something on Instagram and it was sad. It was pretty much, uh, God, I tried my best type of deal. I don't know her to suffer from depression, but she was just going through a hard time. And uh, I didn't quite know how to um, fix this or whatever. I didn't know what was going on. But I, I said, um, Allie, 
I'm using a fake name. Um, you don't have to tell me what's going on um, if you don't want to, but just know I'm praying for you. And apparently it, um, uh, it uh, really comforted her a little bit. And then there were some times that, with her that I uh, communicate with her and stuff. But um, anyways, um, yeah, there was uh, Matt Cornelius uh, on, um, from Cornelius Creations. Um, you know, we had a, a heart to heart moment where, you know, I, I was, I was about crying and I was, um, and he got in there and he was, he was, um, telling me how cool of a person I am and stuff. Um, and not that I think I'm cool, but, um, it's actually the exact opposite, but, you know, he, he stepped in there and he was just a true friend and, um, you know, he, he didn't need to, um. Uh, I mean, this was the first time I met him in person, you know, traveled, you know, across state lines uh, to meet a YouTuber, which sounds terrible when I uh, say it out loud, you know, to meet someone, to travel a great distance to meet someone that you know on the Internet. Uh, it, 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 sounds, it sounds shady, but uh, I, uh, I trusted him and stuff. You know, he was making videos, you know, it's not something I normally do, but um and my brother already met him once, and my brother was like, hey, you need to meet this guy, Matt Cornelius. And so, um, anyways, we're hanging out with Matt Cornelius. We spent a night or two. I can't remember how long we spent there. But, um, you know, he showed us around um, the area, and um, I had a, a moment of weakness, I guess. Um, and um, he, 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 um, he was there for me. And then um, there was another time that uh, we were text messaging, I was telling him, you know, about whatever problem it was. I can't remember. And um, he's, I remember he said this, hurt people hurt people. Meaning that when people are hurt, they hurt other people because it makes them feel better. And uh, he was basically saying, you know, don't take this too personally. You know, they're obviously in a lot of pain in themselves. And, you know, try to keep things in perspective. So uh, those were uh, some times that... Um, other people that I really had very little relation to uh, actually stepped in and brightened my day. And it was just for um, a small amount of time, you know. It wasn't like I was all of a sudden healed from depression or whatever. Um, but I genuinely felt radiant. Uh, I, 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 it was better than any antidepressant that I could ever take. And uh, so... Um, I'm very thankful for those people because they were exactly what I described, lightning. I was in a dark place and um, they shined so I can see what was around me and I can take things into perspective. Now, we're in a pretty rough time right now with the virus and stuff. And, um, you know, I'm not going to talk too much about that. And I don't think I'm going to solve anything by uh, talking about that. But I'm going to try to bring a little bit of joy into your life um, if you're having a rough time. Um, I might make a few more vlog videos, um, but um, here's kind of a joke that I came up with off the top of my head at, at the right timing online. Um, uh, the um, context is that it's right after Jurassic World came out and there was the scene at the end of Jurassic World where um, the lion and the T-Rex are growling at each other and I just posted on Instagram um, in, in Jurassic World um, Aslan fights the T-Rex one of my friends from high school said I read that as Asian fights the T-Rex and without skipping a beat you know, as soon as he typed that and I responded, I said, no, if that was the case, that would be a Godzilla movie. And for whatever reason, I just love that joke. It was so organic. Uh, before you say that's racist, keep in mind that all the original uh, Godzilla movies were Japanese and they were dubbed over in English. So, you know, it's not racist. It's just how it, that's just how the Godzilla movies were. And I used to be a big fan of them when I was younger. I had a whole, you know, box set of Godzilla movies. I don't know what happened to them. But, uh, yeah, he said, I read that as Asians fight um, T-Rex. I said, no, if that was the case, it would be a Godzilla movie. And I thought that was hilarious. Time for an anti-joke. I don't know if you're familiar with um, anti-jokes. Anti-jokes are kind of not jokes at all, kind of like anti-heroes. Anti-heroes achieve 
what heroes achieve, but they don't do it in a very heroic way. You know, they're gritty. They live outside the law. Uh, a good example of an anti-hero is um, 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 Clint Eastwood in the um, Dirty Harry movies, Harry Callahan. You know, he's not really doing things correctly, but he's achieving a positive thing through his negative things that he's doing. He's just shooting up the place, and um, that's not how you do things in uh, uh, policing. Anyways, fun fact. If if humans stood in a single file line across the equator, most of them would drown. See, that's an anti-joke. What is the difference between a frog and a lampstand? They're both not a duck. <laughs> so, you know, those are anti-jokes, and I thought I had more of them on my phone but apparently I do not. Um, let's see. There was a quote I want to read you that I find funny. Um, and sorry for the awkward silence. Um, A common mistake that people make when trying to design something completely foolproof is to underestimate the in ingenuity of complete fools. So, you know, that spoke to me. I thought that was cool because, you know, we always try to make things idiot proof and then go ahead and read the warning labels of what's on those devices and uh, machines. You know, you think you wouldn't need a, um, um, a warning label saying not to press wood into a wood chipper with your foot or anything like that. Uh, don't put curling irons into orifices. Uh, so, you know, it's, I think that's funny. Uh, that brought some joy to me. So um, I'm going to try to continue to be lightning to all of you in YouTube land. Um, I mean, obviously it's going to be rough, um, you know, but if I come up with a video ideal and uh, I feel that I might benefit from it, I will try to upload it and, um, you know, entertain you, educate you. Uh, I actually have a video that I filmed um, that is, um, I feel not appropriate for this time period, uh, or, or for this period in time. Um, it's uh, about a fight I had with a good friend, or I thought a good friend. Um, and, um, you know, it's a, you know, it was, it was it was rough, but um, you know I just came to the conclusion. Well, this video can wait to be uploaded. It it's not that important, but you know I was I, I was going to share that with you. So, um, but it's not important right now. Um, today is my birthday. Um, I am thirty years old. Um, Jesus is Lord, and He uh, died for my sins and rose three days later. Most of my family are uh, relatively healthy. Um, well, I'm going to say all the family that I know about is relatively healthy. We all have health issues, but, you know, no virus, no impending doom. And um, my mom's dog's still alive. I have some friends. Things are pretty cool. <laughs> you know, it's all about perspective. Uh, life might not be going how you want it to go, but, you know, I own a car. There was... Um, Many people who can't say that. There's many people who can't say, I own a car and I can drive wherever I want. Um, those people who can, can't say that they own a bicycle. Um, there's some people that um, can't walk. They, they're uh, paraplegics and they're, they're stuck to a wheelchair or um, whatever and they can't go to different places. So it's all about perspective. So I would encourage you all to be lightning in someone's life. Uh, if that means telling some stupid jokes or inquiring what's bothering someone, even if you don't know them, you know, or you don't know them very well, just be like, hey, you know, uh, uh, you look kind of down. Can I help you? Um, try to give some perspective. And um, we should all uh, strive to brighten other people's days. So that's it. I'm Asatsu5, and I'm out.